Welcome back everyone, it's Onyx here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play the last brawler that I got to 500 trophies and one of the most requested brawlers that I've had so far, Frank. So let's get to it. Uh... Alright, so looking at one of Frank's better game modes, we're actually going to be going into Duo Showdown. Now Frank is an absolute monster in Duo Showdown. Because he has such a long range and provides such a huge splash effect that he can pretty much wipe out both brawlers at the same time, especially once he starts getting his super charged up and being able to chain those supers, he can do an enormous amount of damage. So one thing that you want to do with Frank in Duo Showdown is just kind of watch out for your longer range brawlers like your Brocks, your Ricos, your Colts, and then kind of push brawlers into areas that they're not going to be able to escape from, kind of push them into walls where they're going to be within his range. And some other brawlers that you're going to want to watch out for are going to be your shotgunners, like your bulls and your shellies, and even your El Primos and Mortises sometime, as they can get in close on bull and do a lot of damage before he's able really to get all his shots off and take them down. So those are the kind of brawlers that you're going to want to keep at the top of Frank's range. But some other ones, you're going to kind of want to get closer into them and you might have to sneak into their range or just pin them up against the wall or get your other brawler that's with you on your team to distract them so you can go in and start dishing out that damage really fast. And that's one thing that's very important about Frank is that when you get within his range, start hitting that hammer as quick as you can. Frank has one of the fastest reload speeds in the game. So it's going to help him when it comes to di dishing out that damage very, very quickly. And you're going to charge a super up very fast too, which can help you in the long run too. So one of the things that you also want to watch out for with Frank is just not being too, I guess, tanky would be the word to say with it. Like Frank has the highest health in the game. He's actually tied with El Primo, but you just don't want to run in to brawlers thinking that you're invincible because some of these guys can tear Frank down very, very quickly and you might get carried away thinking that you can survive taking damage at a high rate. But in reality, when it comes down to it, Frank's gonna go down very, very quickly. So you have to be careful of those things. But moving into one of the 3v3 game modes that I like to play with Frank and he's actually very good in this is Gem Grab. And what Frank does in Gem Grab is play the role of the aggro brawler. Now, if you haven't seen my Gem Grab guide video covering all the roles in Gem Grab, be sure to go check that out. But what you want to do with Frank as the aggro brawler is really sneak around the sidelines and the upper portion of the map where the enemy is going to be respawning and using these bushes and walls to his advantage to be able to take the enemy brawlers out and essentially go after their gem carrier and their support brawler if they're playing the similar strategy. And you're going to be able to take them out with Frank very, very easily, especially once you start charging his super up. So like you just saw in the gameplay there, that Frank actually got his super in on me and was taking me out. And I got a little bit out of position and hit mine a little bit too early. And that's one thing that you want to do with the enemy respawning is you got to wait until they're in not invincible anymore to come down with your super and that's going to help you out too in pretty much all the game modes where they respawn being able to wait until they're not invincible anymore is going to help when it comes to starting building up your super and chaining that super but if you're watching the gameplay you kind of see how i'm being more aggressive in this game mode and it really helped my team out so another 3v3 game mode that frank is really good in that's just came on as of late is siege and in my opinion, Frank is at least in the top three brawlers in this game mode on all three maps right now. He plays more of the aggro role like he does in gem grab. You know, you can be very aggressive with Frank because of his high health, because of his range. You're going to be able to push brawlers away from the middle just by his presence. And they're going to start backing off, which is going to allow you to pick up more bolts. So Frank does a very good job, job at control in this game mode. And that's very crucial maintaining control in here because those bolts are going to be spawning up all over the place. And if Frank's just straight up pushing brawlers away from the middle, in the middle and on one entire side, your team's just going to benefit greatly from that. And I mean, you're just going to be able to pick up more bolts and get behind the robot. So using his range, using the width of his range to your advantage is very crucial when maintaining control of the middle. And then when you go down to attack Ike here on the enemy's team, 
that's a prime example of what you just saw in the gameplay, pretty much what not to do, is I got directly behind our robot and that ricochet was able to get off multiple supers and take me and one of my teammates out. And that's just really not how you want to do it. So in just a second here, I'm going to be able to show you the proper way to go in behind your robot and take out the enemy Ike. But in the meantime, we're still going to be playing in the middle here. And it's just really a good method. Like I got good teammates with me here. Bo's very good in this game mode. Gene's pretty decent. And you see how I'm able just to come out from behind the walls here come out from the bushes and pretty much just surprise attack these guys as they're going into the middle, focusing on my teammates. And that's really that aggro role that's very similar to how you play Frank in gym grab is how he's very, very effective in siege. Now these guys look like they're giving up down here on the enemy side, but I think they're just waiting so they don't get taken out before our robot gets there. So once they do get start coming up and trying to hit our robot, this is really what you want to do when you have Frank super, because when he uses his super attack and goes for that stun, you're stunning the enemies as they're respawning and stunning Ike. So Ike's not dealing out any damage anymore. So moving into Frank's absolute best game mode in Brawl Stars is actually going to be Brawl Ball. And Frank is just an absolute beast in this game mode because of the width of his range and the length of his range and his super attack his high health he's just completely dominating this game mode in almost every single map that there is frank is just simply amazing for one of the reasons that you see is right here his super attack the ability to use his super and break all the walls out in front of the goal and you create a wide open goal and then you use his super and you can hit multiple brawlers at the same time, charge a super all the way back up and stun the enemies. And it's very crucial for scoring goals in Brawl Ball now and taking those enemies out like that and getting that pause to where they're not able to defend or do anything really is going to help you score goals and help your team score goals very, very quickly. So using Frank, you want to kind of use his range to advantage like you pretty much everything else that you've done in the rest of the game modes and play more of a sideline role kind of like you see me here just flanking these guys the enemy's focusing more on my teammates and i'm able just to sneak up from beside them and hit them and start taking them out and then once the enemy respawns from inside their goal using his super attack as soon as they come uninvincible to hit them as they're coming out the goal, you're going to be able to wipe out that whole team again. And that's going to be crucial for you scoring. So Frank, I mean, he's just amazing in Brawl Ball. And I highly, highly suggest if you want to push your Frank, play him in Brawl Ball. Get you a couple of good teammates and come into Brawl Ball and do what you see me doing here. So of course, Frank's going to have a hard time like you just saw me there with Shelly in Brawl Ball because Shelly can stun his super and Gene's pretty good in Brawl Ball now too. And Gene can stop Frank's super too. So that's one of the things that you're going to have to watch out for. El Primo is another brawler that can do this, that really plays Brawl Ball a lot. So you're going to have to watch out for those guys with Frank because they will counter his super with their super attack. But if you go up against a team that doesn't have any of those brawlers on there, and Tara's a good one too. She's actually on my team right now. But if you go up against a team that doesn't have any of those brawlers on there, I mean, you're pretty much just going to be able to roll right over them. I think Daryl and Bull can do it too, but it's a lot harder for them to be able to do that. But anyways, just be careful of the brawlers that are able to stop Frank Super, and then you're going to be all right. And then, like you see here, when you're going up against another Frank, you're going to be able to time your Super just right with that Frank and be able to take him out and stop his him from being able to use his super and i'll show you this right now in the gameplay as this frank has his super ready to go and as soon as he hits his i hit mine right before him and i was able to stop him from landing his super taking out my team and what would have eventually led to them scoring i was able to stop that so frank also doubles as a defensive weapon and then like you see me doing here using that super to hit this Frank and that El Primo, and then using it again to hit that Mortis as he was coming out the goal and allowed my team to score and start the comeback. And that's really the benefit of using Frank in this game mode. He's just absolutely fantastic at doing this and is why he's one of the best brawlers in Brawl Ball. I mean, he's definitely top five every map, probably top three in every map, if not one of the best, number one or number two 
in most of the maps in Brawl Ball. So, I, I mean, I really strongly suggest using Frank and Brawl Ball to push him in trophies as by far his best game mode, along with Siege. And if you're more of a showdown person, definitely use him in duo showdown. You're going to have a lot more success in duo showdown than you would solo showdown with Frank, just because of the team aspect of it. Having somebody there to have your back to counter the brawlers that Frank can't really counter. So having like a longer range brawl like you saw me playing with that Brock is very, very beneficial for Frank in duo showdown. And it just makes for a much better time when playing with him. So one more thing before I go, I want to talk about Frank and using auto aim with him. Now it can be very beneficial to use auto aim with Frank because you can get those shots off very, very quickly. But sometimes it's going to be beneficial for you to actually aim those shots too. I just want to touch on that before I go. I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it very useful. And I will see you all next time.